Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video we're going to have a look at ClickView. Now, just a little caveat, ClickView is a subscription service, so you will need this in your college or university, school, etc. for this to work. But if you have got a subscription, this video will show you how to use ClickView for your teaching and learning. Now, ClickView essentially is a video resource repository that you can share with students for online learning materials and education. So for example, it might be that you teach maths and you have some videos and content on ClickView that you wish to share with students and these are already pre-made by ClickView themselves. You can also create formative assessments on videos, upload your own video content on there and even create assessments and quizzes etc that overlay on top of the video. You're also able to track the progress of students, how much video they've watched, what parts they've watched, what answers they've got correct as well as creating clips on videos as well. I hope you found this video useful and if you do please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really does help. Thank you. I'm on office.com, I'm going to click the waffle menu and then I can search for ClickView. Now this will only work if you have ClickView installed on your Office 365 subscription and it gives you single sign-on. So this is the easiest way of accessing ClickView. If you haven't got this, you can also access ClickView by simply going to a web browser and then searching for ClickView or type in online.clickview.co.uk and then following in the sign-in details. And these are typically your college username and password. At the top here, once you're logged in, you'll see notifications, a ClickView Training Center, and also your options to log out and check your settings of your profile. The first page is kind of like a dashboard, and this is all of the trending videos that have been added to ClickView. And you can also search from here as well. As you can see here, I'm searching a video that I want to give to students. On the left hand side, you can also filter and use categories and sources to kind of pin down a little bit more detail on the video that you're after and improve your search results. You'll see then you can click on the video and have a look at it and make sure that's OK. The next one is libraries and these are how you browse. So for example, I have a DN College Group library and in here I can see all of my various subjects and all teachers can contribute to these libraries such as the construction one here and I can again play this video and share it with my learners. You'll also see extra libraries in here if you are available to, such as the Blended Learning Consortium, but you'll also see the ClickView library as well, where you can access career and work readiness skills, as well as ClickView movies and TV, which is really good programs and TVs and films that you may wish to share with your learners as well, and ClickView look after those libraries. The next one is the exchange, and the exchange is essentially all of a collection of different colleges, universities, etc., all collectively adding videos to the exchange. And you can do things such as look at categories again for various subjects, and you can also access the BBC resource repository as well. So by clicking the BBC res, you're able to actually get videos and content from the BBC archives to share with learners. Your workspace will come back to in a little bit more, but that's kind of where you would put your videos to share with students and create interactive videos, etc. Your playlists is essentially where you can build up a bank of resources or a playlist for students that they might need to view a multiple videos. And then TV, this is where you can actually start to ask and request live TV to be recorded because you may find a program that you want to share with your students on a various program. And you can do things in here such as access channels and you can do this to filter out what channel the program is on and see if there's anything on there that you may want to request or has actually already been recorded. You'll also see here that you can filter via dates as well which makes it really easy to find the videos that you're after. And you can also click on things such as different channels, programs. So here I'm clicking on a program and you can search for the title of the program. And you can also search in the TV guide as well and request future programs in here like recording. Go back to libraries and in here again this is where you browse your various content. And I'm just going to choose one. So let's go into the ClickView library and let's have a look at career and work ready skills. Here you can see that I've got various videos and what I want to do is share a video with learners. So I'm going to go to this working with ratios video and I can click it. 
Here then you'll see that the video loads out, uh, loads, and you can see various things such as chapters, resources and transcripts that go along with that video, as well as the description of the video and obviously it plays as well. So if you scroll down now, this is how you can start to share this with your learners. So you'll see here um, the description, what categories it's in, etc. But you'll also see share. So you just click share and then you'll have two options to either link or embed and that's completely up to you. Normally links fine. And you can just copy that and then paste that into a VLE, Microsoft Teams, email it, however you communicate with your learners and that will give them direct access to that individual video. You can also add that video to a playlist. So let's imagine you've got a couple of videos that you want to send to students for like a revision. So you can create a playlist for them or just add it to your favorites as well because you might think that that video is really useful and you don't want to lose it. So here you can see I've added that. You can add extra playlists as well. But once a playlist has been created, you can actually click on this, choose share, and that will share all of the videos inside of that playlist for your learners. So this is a good way of sending multiple videos for them, say for example, for the week. I'll show you now how to access TV and show those videos to students. So when you click TV, what you're able to do is, again, you can choose channels, etc. I'm just gonna use the main page. You can even search your TV shows as well, or even keywords that have been said, but I'm just gonna use one of these for an example. When you click on the video, you'll notice you don't get the share. What you do is you have to add this. And what you're doing is you're adding this to your workspace. And your workspace is essentially the collection of videos you've requested, uploaded, or also created interactive videos of. So here you can see I've actually added that to my workspace. And now I get the regular share button that you do with the standard videos inside of ClickView. So this is just a little bit of an extra step to share with students. You'll see as well that what you can do is also create clips on videos. Now this is really useful. Say for example now this video show is really long, it's an hour, and I only want to share a little bit. So I click clips as you can see here, and then what I can do is choose a section of that video to share with my students. And this is really useful for those long TV programs that you may have created. So once you've done that and you've created your clip, you're then able to share that individual clip by choosing share and just sharing that single clip with your students. And again, this will be done inside of the workspace. So that's just a top tip. Have a look now at interactive videos. So you'll see an interactive video has an orange tag that says interactive. And in here, when you click on the video, there's an interactive video option. And what you can do is you can actually play that interaction. So I'm going to go on to interactive video and then just click play underneath. Now you'll see that this video has been clipped up a little bit, but you'll also see timestamps variously through the video. And, and here there will be actual questions about that video, such as true or false, and um, sometimes even pictures that are clickable or questions that you have to type in answers to, etc. And these are brilliant for assessing students' learning and checking that understanding. So once you've got the interactive video, again, remember, save that to your workspace so that you can share it with your learners. So you, again, your workspace is kind of your collection of videos. What you can also do is once you have shared this with your students is check progress. So remember in workspace, share that video and then you can put that again on your VLE, etc. And then what you can do is click on view results once the students have completed that video or you've assigned it. Now, I've done Microsoft Teams here. I've shared it on my Teams platform. And what you can see is there's just one student, me, who has actually had a go at completing that video. And you can check the progress, what questions they got right, how long they viewed the video for, and more. So this is a really good way of checking your understanding of students, but also what videos they have watched. I'm just going to go back to Workspace now. And what we can do is we can have a look at how we can create our own interactive videos as well. So you'll see here that I've got a clip that I've used before. Um, but what I'm going to do is just go to the main video here, um, the Chernobyl one that we've been looking at before. And I'm going to go to Interactive Video. And I'm going to actually create my own interactive video now. So this allows you to upload and create your own interactive videos like the one that you've just seen. So you can request a live show, for example, and then create a live video. So once you've done it and you've 
click create uh, interactive video you'll see that the video will display and you just choose timestamps and then choose your question choice or type of question and the answers as well so here you can see i've just done a multiple choice but there is other options as well once you click apply you'll see that they come back up and again just choose a part of the video you want to ask a question on choose the question type and then start creating your interactive videos once you've done this you just follow the steps where you publish that interactive video and then again you can share that interactive video with your students now at Microsoft Teams in ClickView. So click the plus and then choose ClickView as an app to add ClickView to your Teams for your learners. So again, click plus, choose add, and this will add the ClickView app. You may need to sign in or it might sign you in automatically. Here then you're able to see the same libraries and add videos directly into your Teams without leaving the Teams interface. So this is a really good way of sharing videos with learners as well. So here you can see I've clicked save and share and that will then share that video directly as a tab for your learners inside of Microsoft Teams. So this is a really useful way. You can also do this from the bottom as well in the chat bar and you can click click view and you can add this to the feed as well. And here you can see you can even share the interactive videos that we've been creating. So here you can see the drywall and wet ratio one we did earlier and we can click add here and we can actually add that to the Microsoft Teams as well. Now again you can still remember to copy and paste the link in Teams but this is just an easier way as well. And again, what the students can do then is click play and this interactive video will play directly inside of Microsoft Teams for students. So rather than copying and pasting links, you can do it this way if you prefer. It's completely up to you. You can also view the results from any videos that have been interactive inside of Microsoft Teams as well. I hope you found this video useful. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Thank you very much.